Hello everybody and welcome back to Hearts of Iron where we are resuming our conquest here and we've already gotten a decent amount out over this way. Now I'm hoping we're not going to have to island hop for the Japanese islands that are held out here. There are a few. Uh, there's also Ryukyu down here which will be maybe slightly awkward. They're currently fighting of course against Japan and Manch Manchu but I, I don't I don't think that's going to be a big deal. So that's going to be done in about 100 days here and then Hyperborea will be about 100 days after that. So our plan to attack Japan seems strong enough. We definitely need a plan to attack Manchukuo though. So we're going to grab this army group and we're going to tell them actually just the army group. We're going to tell them that their plan is to simply offensive line like, not there exactly. Let's get zoomed in a little bit. And offensive line, something like this. All the way over. Like that. And that should be Manchukuo falling. Now I'm wondering, they've been fighting Ryukyu for a long time. Does anyone involved here have any troops? <laughs> I don't actually know. Um, hmm... Actually, yes, Manchukuo does. And Japan does as well. Oddly, Ryukyu does not, which tells me that they've not tried to attack. They have fleets, though. So I, I don't know what they're up to. It's very strange. Regardless, that's going to be our plan. And we're hoping that Japan capitulates when Kyoto falls. I don't know that they will, but that would be the idea. If they don't, we'll just push on to Yamaguchi or Fukuoka. That'll be fine. And this can go into our reserve, of course. Cool. After we're done with this, we should probably continue cleaning up the Pacific here. Going after some of this stuff, going after Dainam, some of these outlying areas. And then we'll clean up Ming. That will not be... I mean, Ming will be a little bit more difficult. They've had this whole time to build up, remember. Yeah, they definitely have a good amount of divisions. I mean, we have way more. But they have a good amount of... Actually, do we have way more? Hang on. Yes, we have way more. <laughs> it should be fine. But they'll give us a little bit of a fight. So that'll be okay. And keep in mind, throughout all of this in the background, we're building all of this nonsense. And that'll get finished up eventually. It's low priority stuff. We're not too concerned about it. So that's fine. Is there any more that we can do for prospecting for resources? Not currently, other than the Alaska Chromium deposits, which is apparently infinite. So we're not really working on that. I, I feel like that's not supposed to be infinite. So we're trying not to take advantage of that. That'll be fine. Also note that we have 643 nukes right now, which is a lot. That's a lot of nukes. So how long on our Japanese justification here? The answer is not too long, actually. About 40 days. Let's go. Now, is our Navy in position for this? They don't have to be. But let's bring them into position. So we're going to sit in the Sea of Japan and the coast of Japan. And then our other navy, and we're going to remove the Bismarck Sea, our other navy is going to hang out in the Yellow Sea and the East China Sea. So essentially, we're going to fundamentally cut off both of those nations. Beautiful. And if we need more navies later, we can always get more. But this will be fine for now. We've got plenty of navies in our reserves, after all. How is Ming doing in terms of the air? Do we know anything about that? Actually, they have a lot of planes. And a lot of ships. So we're going to have to do some proper combined arms to take out Ming, I think. It's not going to be too, too difficult. But they'll put up a bit of a fight. So that'll be fine. I want to make sure that these guys over here are going. Uh, let's see here. Who is it over here? These guys. Army 15. Okay, so they are told to go, and these guys are told to go as well. So that looks good. No problem whatsoever there. All we're doing is waiting at this point. It's the waiting game. But it's not going to be too much longer. Only about 14 days, two weeks. Let's go. 
We are apparently having bases in low supply in the home islands. And I think that makes sense. This is not held directly by us. So we haven't updated these naval bases. And we probably should. That is not where that naval base is. Where is this naval base at? Okay. I'm uh, trying to get rid of that construction. This naval base is here. I think that's just a bug. Okay. Got it. So we're then going to also upgrade over here. Cool. That won't be too, too bad. A few levels of naval base going in there. Fantastic. And of course, we'll control this area over here for now. Now, if we have to attack this, which I don't think we will, but if we have to attack this, that could get slightly awkward for us. But there, I don't see a victory point here, so I think we'll be okay. Pretty sure on that front. Cool. Our justification has been finished. So Hyperborea is being worked on now. The next one that I'd like to work on is Dynam. I want to get them out of the way. So we're going to justify on them next. Cool, that'll take 220 days. We'll get that underway. And we will declare on Japan. Now, Japan does have a couple of troops. Not many. But both of these do have a couple of troops. So we'll go ahead and conquer them. And we're expecting Manchukuo to join that. Hmm. They haven't yet. Are we pushing in here? No, because we've got some supplies issues, I think. Well, that's only mildly awkward. Non-aggression pact from Ryukyu. We decline. Okay, so this modern tank brigade can hop over here. Perfect. Manchukuo doesn't appear to have joined. So that's noted. Okay, we're just going to build a supply hub here. And then we're going to build a small rail network here. This won't take very long to construct. Should have done this beforehand, but eh, hindsight is 2020. And we'll just run this up over this way. Make sure that we have that linked in as well. Okay. So we'll get that underway. I believe I queued those up at the bottom. Those should definitely be at the top. So we'll get that all constructing. Excellent. And these guys, I'm going to tell them to go ahead and, uh, and aggressively attack. Don't worry too much about supplies. They are not aggressively attacking. Okay. Let's go ahead and get a commander in here anyway. So we'll need to show a field commander. Promote this guy up. There we go. And we will assign that guy in here. There we go. Cool. Now, he's not going to attack this, unfortunately. At least not until our supply situation is a little bit more under control, shall we say. That's fine. I'm not actually that concerned about that. So we're going to be finishing this up. And I guess this means we're going to have to justify on Manchukuo as well. Since they don't appear to be joining. Now, another justification here is maybe not a great idea. That's now taking 360 days. So I think we wait until our Hyperborean justification is done. That will be done in about 110 days. Cool. So this is fine. And I'm expecting our troops to move in like the moment the supply hub finishes. That is definitely what I'm expecting here. So it's going to take about 10, well, 43 days in total for all of that. But another 67 days beyond that, or actually 66 days in total now for the supply hub to finish up. So that'll take some time. I was definitely not anticipating a supply issue here. I should have, but I was not anticipating a supply issue here. And I was also definitely anticipating Manchukuo would join in this war since they're in the same Central Powers faction. But apparently they've decided not to, which... Or Japan hasn't called them in. I suppose that's a possibility. We are indeed angered by Vietnamese posturing. This is true. 
Okay, so we don't care about any of that right now. Do we have anything that we do want to do here? <laughs> Blow the Panama Canal, definitely. That's uh, a great idea. No, <laughs> we're not going to do that. Cool. So realistically, we should have absolutely no problem here. There's an enemy navy, but I did want to pop out over here and make sure that automatic split off is enabled for these. There we go. Cool. How long on that construction? It's about half done, so 41 days to go. Again, I definitely should have anticipated this. We won't have that problem elsewhere. These infantry divisions can head on to our Coast Guard. Beautiful. So we're already at the point where they're going to have a hard time landing on our shores. Our Coast Guard should broadly take care of it. There will be a few areas here and there, but it, it should be fine. It's very minimally garrisoned, but that's to be expected. So our supplies have improved a lot here. We should just go. Oh, of course. That's why we're not attacking. Armenian Japan wasn't called in. I'm dumb. This guy can actually move back to a balanced attack. Okay. <laughs> wow, that was a very, very silly mistake there. Cool. So in we go. And we're going to have no problem crushing Japan here. The only question I have is, do they capitulate when Kyoto falls? I suspect that answer to be yes. Is this all going into Armenian Japan? Mm, I think this is being controlled by... Well, the state hasn't shifted control yet. Uh, but looking at this, yeah, this is going into Armenian Japan here. That's okay. I don't mind that. So we're not going to have to do anything here in terms of, like, construction. That's completely okay. Invasion of Hyperborea sounds good. And Kyoto will fall here shortly. They don't really have... In fact, there goes Kyoto. And they capitulate. Beautiful. So. We would take all of this. Can we give it to Armenian Japan, though? Why is Ry Ryukyu in this? Oh, I suppose the war might have been combined together. Okay, we're going to actually pass here and see if Armenian Japan wants to take any of this. Oh, actually, we can give this to Armenian Japan this way, I think. Yes. Okay, so we need a total of 195 to select all. Which is weird. I'm not sure why that's the case when these are very clearly not selected. Okay, Armenian Japan is, I think, taking these. Yes, that's exactly what we want them to do. Okay. We'll submit these demands for Armenian Japan. Cool. And yeah, we can take these. So Armenian Japan can't take those, I think. But we need to pass here. We are not gaining additional. We've re received all of our score. This is very weird. Hang on. <laughs> Armenian Japan isn't taking anything here? I'm confused by what's happening here. Wait. Okay, now we're back in here. So, we can't select that because the demand is too expensive. Okay. Okay. I guess we'll call this good. This, that's the best we can do, I suppose. Armenia and Japan took two states. And now can we, I guess, just re-justify on these guys. But that'll take some time. That was really weird. I, I don't know what's going on with that one. We'll just leave these guys here. And we'll do another march to Kyoto later. Okay. So next up, of course, is Hyperborea. I don't expect this to be very challenging at all. So all we're looking to do up here is an offensive line straight up over here. 
and we'll go ahead and launch that as soon as we're ready. We are, of course, angered by Vietnamese posturing. That's definitely true. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to fight Japan again. But I guess that's fine? Fine. I mean, it is fine. It, it is literally fine. So they're still in the Central Powers faction, awkwardly enough. How long on our justification on, on Hyperborea? That is going to be done in 16 days. Cool. How about Vietnam? That one is going to be done in 110. We're halfway done with that. Cool. So we're going to have to attack Japan again here. And awkwardness may ensue there, but let's let our justification on Hyperborea finish. We may want to go after Manchukuo first and see if Japan ends up joining that. Because I think this would be... Ah, that's still 530 days. Okay. Just checking that. So, who all are we currently justifying on? Okay, there's Ob finishing up. We should definitely declare this. Let's see. Uh, yeah, nobody would be upset about this. Well, I'm sure they're upset about it, but nobody's going to do anything about it. So these guys are going to head on in, and Hyperborea is going to fall. There's no doubt about that. We should immediately begin justification on Manchukuo. So that's now going to cost 205 days. I just want to check, are any of these cheaper for us? No. So this is fine. There we go. We'll get that underway. We are indeed urging for the conquest of Vietnamese land. Now, the Vietnamese do have quite a lot of troops, and we probably want to get a real army down here. We'll hold off on that, though, for the moment, because Hyperborea is going to be falling here, and I'm just going to order this guy to go in, and we're already going in here, so that looks good. Cool. And yeah, we're slowly making our way in. There will be no resistance here. We expect that. We're going to need proper armies over here, and I think we're going to send two of them. Or maybe even this whole army group. That that would be overkill. But we could send them, in theory. Yeah, we definitely could do that. Okay, so Hyperborea is going to fall eventually. Let's just go take that victory point. Cool. Cool. Uh, we seem to have forgotten where we're actually going, but this looks good. We'll just let that go. They'll capitulate soon. I'm hoping when we take their capital here. That would be the hope. Well, their capital shifted over to here. So we'll, get, we'll grab that as well. It's very slow moving around over here. Keep in mind, it's still May. So this is not too bad to attack up here. It's... A little bit above freezing. Okay. So yeah, that's not too, too bad. We can lower the autonomy of Armenia and Japan. And we definitely should. Cool. I'm not really trying too hard to annex anybody right now. It's okay. Completely fine. So we are taking that. And now the question is... Ah, all the way over here, huh? Okay, well, that'll take time. And of course, we're going to need to build up this area to some degree. But that's okay. So we're going to need to build infrastructure, and we can get started on some of that right now. Beautiful. So we'll get that queued up. We are indeed urging for the conquest of the Vietnamese lands. They don't have any coastal provinces. So that's noted. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this. Surely they're going to capitulate here, right? Maybe not. They just don't want to give up. Well, there's very few locations that they have left here. That's for sure. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and select all, submit demands, and confirm an exit. So that territory is now ours, and we are going to immediately build a bunch of infrastructure up here. Beautiful. Other things that we are going to build. There are no naval bases. There's no point in building land forts up here. We could, in theory, extend our supply hu supply hubs up over here, but I don't think there's... Well, there is a reason to build them up here, actually. So we could build a supply hub here, and then one, say, here, like that, and then connect that by rail. 
to... Well, we could upgrade this to level 5. There we go. And then connect that up over this way and then up over this way. Like so. And then we could just build a railroad. Not bothering to build any supply hubs, but a railroad that connects up... I want to zoom out a bit. Okay. That connects up something like this. Cool. That'll do. I suppose we can get our air bases built up here. No point in not doing that, really. As well as our anti-air. Cool. Build that in all nine of these states. And our radar. Cool. May as well get that done as well. There we go. And we're going to order these lads, who suddenly no longer have orders, to come down over this way. We're going to put the bulk of them here, but we're going to put this unit down on this side. Is this massive overkill? Yes. Do we care? Not really. So we're just going to push up to the sea here. There we go. And they'll execute that order as soon as they're ready. And then these guys here, they are going to have their own like separate offensive line because they'll need it. Or actually, hang on. Oh, this all went from this line. That's really weird. Okay, that's definitely not what I intended for them to do. So, these guys are going to be all assigned here. We're going to give them this offensive line. Just changing the order in which we're doing this. There we go. They can execute that. But these guys, they are going to come down here instead. No. Get back up here. Everybody assigned to this order. Only these guys come down here. That makes more sense. <laughs> Fantastic. And they're going to get an offensive line that's just something like this. That'll be fine. Okay. So, they'll get there eventually. In fact, they'll get there pretty quickly once they manage to get back onto the railways. And that'll be fine. So, that's all under control. Next, we're justifying on Manchukuo. And that justification will be done when? Okay, 140 days still. So that's a while. And Vietnam, we're going to be done, well, in 25 days. Okay. But we can see here, our armies are moving quickly. Those logistics networks are doing work. So we're going to get these infantry divisions heading out. There we go. And for the time being, this is looking good. Our armies are arriving. We don't need the Marines here, and we may actually want to just tell the Marines, come start planning to, like, attack Cam Shadals or something. <laughs> that might be the best bet. So, this is Ming Siberia. Yeah. Let's plan an offensive invasion. Actually, not from there. From over here. There we go. Something like that. And then they can be removed from the order that's down here. So... This order no longer needs anyone assigned to it. There we go. So the Marines are out of here. They're getting started preparing for another war. But not the one that we just declared. Or are going to just declare. Actually, we haven't declared this yet. But at least through this war, there will be an end to the conflict. Cool. So we can see here, most of our troops are actually already in position. There are a few stragglers. These guys are really far behind. But they should catch up pretty quickly. They are on the railroad at this juncture. Fantastic. This modern tank brigade can definitely go into our reserves. And, I mean, I do think that we have enough troops here to declare this. Yes. There will be more showing up, but uh, they're not that far away, actually. They're cruising along, but it is time to declare this war. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Declare the war. Conquer. Send. And in we go. Now, they'll have a little bit of resistance, but we are not expecting this to be much resistance at all. So we move in here. And they capitulated. Well, that was easy. <laughs> okay. I guess we just have to wait for the uh, peace conference.
We're at war here with no one. Presumably the peace conference will pop up eventually. There it is. Okay. Fantastic. We'll select all, submit demands, and confirm an exit. Beautiful. And we will queue up our structures here. So, first things first. I'm going to build a single supply hub here. Otherwise, I'm not too concerned about this. We'll need to link these into our setup here. We'll upgrade these naval supplies. There we go. And we'll link this on in like so. This railway is converting. It's not much of a railway, I think. But we'll get that building up over here and linked up like that. And then this may as well connect in here. And this may as well connect in as well. Okay. So that's all switching over. That'll be four days. So we'll just kick forward a few days here. One, two, three, and four. Okay. So these should be converted now. They're level one railroads, so we'll just bump those up. We did, in fact, expect them to be level one. So that looks good. We'll build infrastructure in locations where we can. And we will build anti-air in locations where we can. Apparently, we didn't build it here. That's interesting. I must have missed that one. Radar over this way is fine. I haven't queued up radar everywhere, so that'll do just fine. And there we go. I haven't queued up air bases everywhere either. So we'll get that all underway. And, of course, we're going to need to start justifying on someone else. So I would like to start justifying at this time on Camp Shadal's. 190 days. Let's go. And with that, it is about time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to keep dismantling the East. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Casserol, ALS Gamer, Kentuin, James, Shadow Wolf, M. Lohan80, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Unisil, Kadra, Rogue Corvid, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.